I've done a lot of work um, with community and community building and also specifically um, with women. Uh, I founded a women's art collective in 2006 called Unity. Um, it was about 120 women worldwide that collaborated on exhibitions, murals, uh, panel discussions, mentoring, youth workshops. Um, and over the years, I mean, we've all collaborated and then done our own stuff as well. And now we've all kind of grown, so we've all gone our own ways. But, um, but I feel, you know, as, as a woman, you know, in this industry, in, in any industry as a woman, our experience is different, just as a man's experience is different. Um, but for me, I can only talk about the feminine experience because I'm a woman. So I oftentimes embrace that and focus on women's issues like uh, I sometimes bring in some mystical references of goddesses and deities and, uh, and also you know, pass that information down to young women um, who feel like they can elevate themselves to that place where they can kind of you know, appear to be strong, confident, self-loving women who are part of the, the you know, this are, are empowering, growing, beautiful society, you know? And so, um, I don't preach it, I more like show it by example of the things that I do and then hope in turn that they'll take it and transform it into their own direction. So creative expression, I feel, I feel like it very much helps us heal in a way where, um, you know, we're expressing how we feel, we're expressing our experiences, we're talking about things that um, have happened to us or continue to happen to us or, you know, or will happen to us. And when I say will happen or have happened, I don't mean negative things. I mean, it could be positive experiences that you've had as well. And, but I think overall for me, art has always been um, kind of like a safe place where I can go to, to talk about some of the things that you might not hear everybody talk about. Um, it's a really vulnerable space where you're allowing other people to see you completely naked and you have to be willing to do that, you know? And, and so for me in my practice as an, as an artist, but also as, a, as an educator and someone who goes out and encourages others to express, I feel like it, I can see when it, when it heals or when it kind of, it's therapeutic. Right, where you can't feel anything else but what you're making in that very moment because creative process is very therapeutic, right? It's like a flower when it grows, you watch it, it's therapeutic, it's nature, it's growing. It's the same way when you make art, it's like, it's a very natural process and in that, there, I feel like there's this godly kind of therapy that happens.